Ryan Garcia arrested for felony vandalism in a Beverly Hills hotel. Man, let's talk about that, man. This is Power Grind Sports, where we're dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. We talk about the biggest names in sports and entertainment. This is Power Grind Boxing, and we're talking what's hot in the world of sports. I got to encourage you, first and foremost, to turn your dedication and the domination. I'm giving you positive energy and information. This is certified hip hop sports motivation and entertainment. Okay, so a surprising or maybe a not surprising turn of events. Boxer Ryan Garcia, man, he was arrested on a Saturday night for felony vandalism at the Beverly Hills Waldorf Astoria. Now, I just saw this story on TMZ, right? And TMZ, they released footage showing a shirtless Ryan Garcia with a um, motorcycle helmet <laughs> being escorted in handcuffs. <sighs> now, allegedly, Ryan Garcia, who was arrested, put in handcuffs, and he had a a motorcycle helmet on. It was just crazy. I had to say that again. You feel what I'm saying now? Allegedly, Ryan Garcia caused significant, I guess, property damage in his hotel room and in the hallway of the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills. Now, his manager, I think his name is Guadalupe Valencia. Um, they are all preparing a statement. You know, so we're going to be hearing a statement really, really soon. I know that his legal team always pushing out a statement. So I got to check the Internet to see what in the world they're saying about, you know, his these outbursts. But I'm telling you, his behavior, man, it is definitely raising a lot of eyebrows. You know, when I think about Ryan Garcia, I think about him weighing over the limit for his April fight with Devin and Dream Haney, right? Weighing over the limit by 3.5 pounds. He was a welterweight. You know, I'm just like, what in the world? This is just crazy. And then testing positive for banned substances, right? Now, remember the lead up to the fight was really crazy. He was doing crazy things, saying crazy things. And then after the fight, he was like, oh, I was doing all these crazy things just to get you to buy the fight. But now he's still doing crazy things. He testing positive for performance enhancement drugs that are banned and it's like hmm what in the world now when you're looking at this arrest right here i'm telling you it is adding to the whole picture of ryan garcia and man he is just looking like a troubled individual now ryan garcia he recently criticized golden boy promotions and dazzin or some people call it the zone i don't know but um you know because he was just on instagram he was in twitter saying that he didn't get paid by golden board promotions right and what's crazy is uh, that's a claim that was corroborated by devin haney you got what i'm saying so when i'm looking at garcia revealing all of these emotional struggles and all of these problems to social media i'm like man i don't know if it's the truth i don't know if it's false you know he just said that his mother is, has breast cancer you know i'm just like man i'm just looking at all this erratic behavior and i'm just wondering in my mind why are you still on social media telling the world about all of these things because right now the new york state athletic commission they are considering a lot of penalties for ryan garcia i'm talking about suspension fines and possibly changing his victory to a no contest or maybe even disqualifying his fight against Devin the Dream Haney, which he knocked him down three times. You got what I'm saying? He was beating, bruising, and battering Devin Haney. So, and everybody was like, what in the world? We cannot believe Ryan Garcia, you know, was so bigger and so much stronger. And so, and then boom, he was on performance enhancement drugs. Now, a lot of the individuals um, are saying, oh, well, you know, he only had a small version of performance enhancement drugs in his system. It didn't even help him. Well, if performance enhancement drugs do not enhance your performance, then why do they call them performance enhancement drugs? Do you understand me? And ask yourself this question. If Devin Haney 
had performance enhancement drugs in his system. Would you be okay with that? Answer those questions. Hey, you can even leave it in the comment section. So when I'm looking at Garcia's latest arrest, man, I'm telling you, it is just another complication in a crazy year for Ryan Garcia. He puts his professional and his personal life all on social media, and he leaves all of the critics there so that they can judge his life. And then he says, hey, why are you judging my life? Because you're putting it out there. That's why, Ryan. But anyway, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about Ryan Garcia being arrested for felony vandalism at the Waldorf Astoria in Beverly Hills? I'm just like, man, he's allegedly causing significant property damage. I wonder what happened. Was he punching walls? I don't know. Was he playing in the hallways? How did they get caught? Who called the police or what? whoever they called me? I got to get some details on this right here. It is just crazy. And it's very, very troubling when I'm looking at his personal and these professional issues that he's having. And I'm just thinking about these banned substances that he's using. I'm thinking about him being angry at Golden Boy Promotions for unpaid earnings. I'm thinking about the New York State Athletic Commission reviewing and, and getting ready to hit him with the sanctions. And oh, I'm just like, man, this is looking crazy, man. And as I reflect on Ryan Garcia and all these experiences, man, it's clear to me that every challenge offers a lesson. I don't know what lesson Ryan Garcia is going to learn, but if you are looking at him perform, then you got to understand if you want to be an athlete or if you want to be a professional, look, you got to stay professional no matter what the circumstances is. And you got to seek support when you're personally struggling. You feel what I'm saying? I'm telling you, man. And accountability is very important and transparency is very important and Professional athletes have to play on an even playing field. So it is not okay to use performance enhancement drugs on any type of level. You are responsible for everything that enters your body. And I'm telling you, we got to uphold the legal and the ethical standards, especially when you're talking about professional sports. I'm telling you, man, you got to safeguard the, the your own career and you got to safeguard the playing field of professional athletes you got what i'm saying like stand on principles everybody be like yo you got to stand on business that's right and business is built on a certain foundation and those foundations are the principles of business you feel what i'm saying but leave your thoughts in the comment section about ryan garcia in this whole drama and fiasco i would definitely love to hear what you're thinking about that don't forget to subscribe to the channel this is power grind sports Reminding you to turn your dedication into domination and stay on the grind. I'm going to talk to you later.